So guys, uh, welcome back to Subtech Online. Today it is actually we are ending there. Um, today I'm going to we are going to dive into a powerful function that can easily simplify your data management tasks. So the VStack function in Excel is so powerful that it can help you vertically stack, or we call it concatenating ranges or cells in in spreadsheets. I will use spreadsheets because you can use the same uh, the same steps you are going to go through here, uh, both in Excel and Google Sheets. So if you don't have Excel 365, please, you can use Google Sheets to have this done. So now it is always, uh, this is the syntax. Uh, VStack, you put the first range, you put the second range. So you, you easily provide the ranges you want to stack as an uh, as arguments. And the VStack function takes care of the rest. So uh, we are going to start with a wide, um, uh, we are going to start with an example I have here. I have data in January. You see it runs from B to J. Uh, the same data in Feb, that is data for Feb. Data in March, data in April going onwards. Even if there are more than 50 sheets, you can concatenate them. Or we can do a V-stack on them. Now we are going to stack all these into one table like this. And every time there is data added on every any of the sheet, this VStack will be having your data available. Let's say if I go to January and uh, uh, I add this. So we shall come to the VStack and we shall see that there is something that has added with zeros. So uh, if you want to get this, please keep on this video up to the end and I'm sure that you'll go when you know how to use the VStack function. So let's start guys. Now before we do, um, uh, before we go ahead, let's look at this wrap up. Now there are two things to first consider. You have to make sure that the ranges you provide have the same number of rows. So uh, if I'm stacking from A1 to A5, I have also to do B5 to B1 to B5 like that, which means the same thing here. If I'm going to stack uh, January from uh, B that to the 100 through, I have to do the same 100, 100, 100 for all the sheets. But we are going to do it with is. So we start with one thing uh, that is typing the VStack function. So it is VStack as you hear uh, that. So the VStack function, it is asking for the array one. So which means array one, I will click on January. I don't want the heading because I already have the heading. So I can start from there, even give an allowance of, um, of around uh, the rows you want. Even you can have this up to 100 like this. So which means you're stacking January from B2 to J1, uh, J100. So uh, if I enter, it means that it is giving me data for January, but it is running this up to the 100th. But why is it that I'm having zeros here? Because it is stacking blank rows, which we haven't filled with anything here in January. But remember, we ran from two row two to row 100. So how can we add now uh, uh, January, February, March, April, May, June? You can do it like this. So uh, clicking where my, uh, my function is. So always when you have sheets running, let's say January, Feb, you can always come here between January and uh, that exclamation mark, you put semi, you put colons, then what is our last sheet that is May? Now this means that I have combined from June to May, that is from January to May, all of them considering from B to to J100. That's what it means. So the moment I enter this, you'll check that it will run up to 100. It starts uh, a Feb, it runs another 100, it starts March, it runs another 100, it goes to April, it goes to another 100, it goes to May. So that's what it is. 
So if I reduce this, uh, just a moment, escape, go, go back to the first one where our function is. Remember, this is an array. Everywhere you click, you'll see it grayed out, but ideally the array is in cell C2. The moment you type here anything, it will show you that it has spilled because it is broken. So uh, coming to this, I want to reduce this up to around 15 rows such that we can see what we are talking about. So here you see that it is running January, Feb, but we have those blanks which we want to eliminate. And I said, if you forecast your data to be so much in one of the sheet, you can always stretch this to even a thousand. Now, we don't need these zeros. How do we eliminate the zeros? So come to your function, introduce a filter function. So we want to introduce a filter function. So I'm going to copy the whole of this formula, copy, then uh, introduce a filter function. So that is our array, then comma. What do we need our filter function to do for us? It will be the same VStack Jan to May, but this time I want to test only with one column. That is uh, the column this side that is B. I want to test from B2 to B15 for every sheet uh, such that this one is not equal. These symbols less than and equal, uh, greater than facing each other means is not equal. So is not equal to blank. Blank, we just open two uh, quotes. We open and close them without putting anything. So it means that anything that has no date, where date is blank, they will not bring for me that row, which means they will not bring for us these rows that have zeros. So I close this and enter. So the moment you close that and enter, you see, guys, our data has been pulled from January to May and no blanks picked. Remember, this is an array. The moment you type somewhere in an array, it will spill. So take it that way. Then if you added anything on, let's say, Feb, you see these ones, are, it is running, it's running up to 34. Let's go to Feb. Uh, we copy these lines and paste them there. Then let's come to our VStack. You'll see now our VStack has run up to uh, uh, up to 38, which means we have added more 4. And when you come to Feb and look keenly to Feb, you see that Feb runs like this, and there is a repetition here we just copied and pasted. So guys, this is the easiest way how you can do your concatenation. You can concatenate or combine your data from different sources. Even if these sheets were different, you can have them with a VStack function stacked together and you do the analysis at once. Otherwise, uh, I will ask you to leave a comment, like our videos, go ahead and watch more videos on our channel, and don't forget to leave us a thumbs up, and we'll meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.